welcome back to my channel it's me today and today i have my candle collection so i have like about four crates of three wicks and it would be a few crates of single wicks if i had the single wick crates so clearly not as much as many other people but since i just started candle collecting this is pretty good so yeah let's go ahead and get started so the first one is a classic this is the white barn Paris Cafe. The notes on this one are rich toasted coffee, sugar brioche, and vanilla creme. So these it looks like. And this smells really good. It's a sweet coffee scent. If you don't like coffee, don't get this because it's a very, very strong scent. It's also super strong in the wallflower. Next one I have is the White Barn Strawberry Pound Cake in this beautiful matte burgundy red magenta packaging. Then those are fresh picked strawberries, golden short cake, and whipped cream. As you can see, I have burned this seriously just a little tiny bit. I think I filmed, or I was doing like a strawberry pound cake shower routine. I just wanted to like this. It smells amazing. Very creamy, very soft, but also a hint of strawberry. Really like that one. The next one I have is one of my favorites. This is berry waffle cone. I've had this in many different forms. Then it's our sweet strawberries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. It smells amazing. You can smell a lot of the waffle cone with the hint of berry. It's, it's just absolutely beautiful. And I liked the summer collection with these tin lids. I also have pineapple pound cake. A lot of people didn't like this one, but I absolutely loved it. The nuts are fresh pineapple, sweet vanilla pound cake, sprinkled with powdered sugar. So it looks like it is like a strawberry pound cake base without strawberry and just add in pineapple. It's super pretty and it smells like pineapple upside down cake and the packaging is super cute as well. Another one from that collection, I have the toasted coconut cupcake. Yeah, I don't know why these all have white brown lids because these are bath and butterworks, but whatever. On the notes are sweet coconut toasted almonds and fluffy vanilla cake. Yeah, it smells like an almond coconut cake. It smells really good and I'm super happy to burn this this fall. Next, I have the Pumpkin Cupcake Candle from Bath & Body Works. Um, the notes are whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcake. That's what the wicks look like. And these are, these are the thick wicks, I believe. So we'll see how this does, because usually the thick wicks are naughty. Smells like a slightly spiced cupcake. Next, I have, like, seems everybody's favorite. Sprinkled birthday cake um, from White Barn. The notes are rainbow sprinkles, whipped vanilla frosting, and fluffy cake. Yeah, for some reason I get a weird smell from this, but the same thing with that vanilla buttercream hand cream. I get a weird smell and it smells fine after I put it on my hands, so maybe this will smell fine after I burn it, but for now I'm not too sure. But the pink packaging is absolutely pretty. I also have the smoked vanilla whiskey candle. The notes are dark oak, bourbon reserve, smoked vanilla. Again, this has the thick wicks and they're kind of weirdly placed, but we'll see about that. I can use a candle um, cone with like tinfoil to correct it, but it's a very woody, sweet, slightly boozy scent. I really do like it. I also have the spiced vanilla cupcake. This is Bath and Body Works. Um, the notes are spice vanilla frosting, fluffy angel food cupcake, and cinnamon sugar. Yeah, this one smells amazing. This one smells like how I think how pumpkin cupcakes should smell. It's definitely more, more spiced, more cinnamon like nutmeg smell. The next one I have is peppermint hot chocolate. The notes are cool peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. This one has the normal wicks, but. It looks like it was one of those that kind of melted in the truck or something. It smells amazing. It smells very pepperminty with a hint of a sweet, smooth milk chocolate. From that same collection, and these are the ones with the extra thin lids. Like, you see that? There's the extra thin lids. This is cinnamon sugar pecans. I've gotten a few different dots on this, and the candle, the wax is really low on this one. There were some bubbles in the wax too that I popped, but... It smells like sugared praline pecans. The notes are cinnamon sugar, warm roasted pecans, and brown sugar. I hope this does better than people said it did. 
And another one is iced cranberry scone. I have a couple, a couple wallflowers in the scent as well. The notes are fresh cranberry, crumbly brown sugar, and sweet vanilla. This is super strong. This is like cranberry and berry waffle cone. Yeah, I really like it. Next, um, I also have cactus blossom. And the reason those are on there is this was a previous candle lid, and I guess I got some stuff on it, but I did not let it pull out, but it's okay, it'll be able to fix. Um, the notes are cactus flower petals, sunkiss coconut, and sparkling lemon. I do like the scent, and this is one of my like favorite florals. I also picked up caramel drizzle. I'm pretty sure this is a present for my dad. Yeah, I think so. This is a present for my dad. The notes are sugar cane crystals, melted butter, and whisked sweet cream. The packaging on this plaid collection is just super cute. I also have vanilla and peach tea. The notes are peach tea, sweet vanilla cream, and fresh oat milk. It does smell like a peach tea with a milky, like, essence. Not like cow's milky, but like a smooth, creamy, milky smell. I also have pineapple mango and the beautiful simplistic packaging. The notes are fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberry. And you definitely get the raspberry and the mango. And a hint of pineapple. And my favorite candle, peppermint sugar cookie. The notes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, and creamy butter with soft sugar cookies. Oh, it smells so good. Honestly, it smells like the filling of the mint Oreos. It smells so good, but burning it definitely has a cookie smell as well. It's just so pretty and beautiful. And then I have the sugared pomegranate, pomegranate candle, and this is Bath and Body Works. Yeah, the notes are pink grapefruit, sparkling bro pink grapefruit, sparkling bergamot, and watermelon ice. I don't know why this is called sugar pomegranate if it doesn't have any pomegranate at all or anything even close to pomegranate. I got some hair on my face. Yeah, well, it doesn't smell like pomegranate either. It does smell like watermelon and grapefruit. It smells really nice. It's certainly not a super wintry candle in my opinion, but this looks beautiful and it will be transferred to other jars after I'm done with this one. i grab a few more candles back here. Okay, the last two Bath & Body Works three licks that I have are the coffee and tonka scent. I recently got these. These again have a beautiful lid, which will be saved as long as I can possibly keep them. The notes are roasted coffee beans, rich cinnamon, and dark tonka bean. This looks like it is a true authentic like coffee cream and sugar smell. Mostly coffee, hint of cream and sugar. Okay, now the one non mathematics theoric I have is Hunting Home Holiday Cranberry. There's no nuts in this. This is the strongest cranberry scent you'll ever smell. In fact, you can't really burn this for more than a little bit. Otherwise, it will explode in your house. Explode as in the scent will, like, go everywhere. All right, now we're gonna do a few other candles before the single licks. So, another Huntington Home candle I have is the Pumpkin Toffee Candle. It smells amazing. Um, yeah, as well as the Sip and Cider Candle which also smells, smells like, smells like apple cider and maybe a little cranberry too. I also have the Hunting at Home <sighs> Hot Buttered Rum Candle. This is a weirdly colored candle for hot buttered rum, but I like the smell. So now onto the single wicks. Um, I think I'm gonna push some of these candle sticks out of the way so I can like bring these over here. Okay, the first one I have is Blueberry Maple Pancakes. There's no notes on some of these. Some of them do have them and I will check, but it smells like blueberry, maple, and pancakes. So beautiful. I also have the Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte. It really does have an authentic, like, coffee latte smell. I also have So Very Thankful Spice Cranberry Toffee. Again, another beautiful cranberry sweet Definitely toffee-like scent. I also have a berry waffle cone. Again, no notes. Which is beautiful. 
beautiful scent so I love this actually I think I've had two previous of this and a previous three wick so I've gone through a lot of those candles I also have the peach Prosecco Prosecco macaron so nice it's a fresh peach with a hint of like a sweet cookie scent I also have pink apple punch still no notes and orange pineapple punch. This one smells like watermelon candy. This one smells like oranges and pineapples. Okay, I also have pink Prosecco frosting, which is just a sweet, like, um, I don't know, pomegranate-y smell. As well, I have sandalwood vanilla. Again, no notes. Like a woodsy, manly sandalwood scent. I also have pumpkin vanilla creme. This is like the ugliest packaging ever. It's like totally 70s, um, but it smells really nice. <laughs> I also happened to pick up the Ice Lemon Pound Cake. The notes are sugary glaze icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. It smells like a lemon pound cake. We'll see how this one burns. I'm kind of skeptical. I also have smoked vanilla, which is just like a Marshall Fireside-esque scent. I have Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. And then I have the nuts are Juicy Peaches, Golden Shortcake, and Whipped Cream. So it's a peach pound cake smell. It smells really nice, and I do like it. Okay. I also have Pumpkin Cupcake. Again, just a nice spice cupcake smell. Yep. And I just, I like romance, so it doesn't matter if I have multiples. Then from the same collection, I have Raspberry Mosa and Pineapple Mango Spritz. They're just like fruity scents. Okay, and then a set of three from a fall collection. I have flannel, which is just a manly, like, wuzzy scent. And then I have cranberry woods, which is a beautiful cranberry smooth sweet scent. And then I have leaves, which is like an apple and crunchy leaves smell. It smells so good. The last few, I have one from the summer collection this year, coconut colada. The notes are coconut rum, crushed pineapple, and sweet vanilla cream. Yeah, it's just a sweet, coconutty, sunscreeny scent. And then I have iced dragon fruit tea. No notes on this one as well, but it smells like an herbal tea with a hint of like a fruity punch. And then I have mango Mai Tai. This one smells like mangoes and guava, like me when I say that. So yeah, those are all my three wicks, all my single wicks, and all my non-bathroom wicks candles. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you later. Bye! Mm -hmm.